purpose of this video is just to give a real basic uh, understanding of how uh, a C6 is used to sidechain and tame say you've got a vocal and you've got an acoustic guitar and you want that vocal to stand up front but you don't want to have to uh, really stomp on the level of your acoustic guitar uh, now people use a c6 for a lot of things and you can use other effects this is just the one that i'm most familiar with and that a lot of the big guys use so i uh, have kind of acclimated myself to it if you were just going to throw a c6 on a, a track just to use it as a uh, a floating kind of EQ. See, I throw it on. I'm, unfortunately, I don't have audio going to this to give you audio examples, but because um, I'm not smart enough how to, to know how to do that yet. But I'm smart enough to show you how to use a C6. So let's say I'm throwing it on this uh, uh, this percussion track, and I want to tame the high end of it. Well, I'd throw it directly on there. And what it's doing is just going to compress the frequencies in different ranges. And you can move those by grabbing. And if you look uh, right here, you'll see this moving as I change it. Um, the other thing I want to mention is it doesn't necessarily go low to high. Actually, it starts low, high, 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 high. And then it goes high. Really, you know, um, um, and this is like, this This is basically, you know, your 11K uh, but five and one are kind of stuck on the sides. So they're, they're more active. People use them more, I guess, is why they put them like that. You can change it. You don't have to. But just remember, it isn't going low to high when you're looking at it. Um, anyway, so in this case, since I just want to affect high end, I'm going to bypass everything that's not that super high end. And I'm only going to use that. And as you can see, it's, it's right here. The yellow uh, goes with this yellow here. And I just want to nip that super high end to keep it tamed and since it's something percussive I want to bring that attack way down to the minimum and this is the range in, at which it'll affect it. Um, it you maybe just use your ears and see if that eight is going to work or you want to reduce it um, and then you would just pull your threshold down as it, as the track played and uh, so here I'd pull it down and just kind of get let's see get like you know nip it a little bit there and you can see when it it jumping here and um, uh, grabbing and pulling it down. Anyway, and then you use your ears to just see how you like it. That's how you would use it in one typical fashion. You can also use it to selectively pull down some, you know, upper mid range or anything that's harsh or something that's getting muddy. Uh, rather than just pulling, putting EQ over an entire mix, this is a way to selectively do it. Uh, now, but that's not what we're talking about today. What we're going to do today is you see there's, uh, I've got four versions here and. Uh, these are the ones you would drop directly on track, and these are the side chain ones. Uh, now, your DAW probably looks different because there's only me and seven other people using the awesome Studio One by Presonus. Um, so you just have to maybe, you know, look up a few other tutorials to see how it looks in your DAW. But this concept is the same throughout the. Every DAW can do side chaining and. So, and Waves is pretty compatible with everything, so, and, and the Wave C6 is something that uh, I use, but there are other things that do this same thing, but the big guys use it, I learned how to use it, and it's the easiest way I can show you. So, let's say I've got this percussion instrument, and I, I want to make sure it doesn't compete with my vocal. Uh, now, normally, uh, what I would probably do is I would probably, you know, spread it a little bit and put my percussive element to the side, put my vocal in the middle and not worry about it. But let's pretend this is our guitar and we have just a guitar and a vocal. And I want that vocal to really stand out, but I don't want to have to cut the guitar volume down to make sure that vocal sitting on top and I can hear every expressive element of that vocal. So what I'm going to do is I want, I want to control this uh, percussion with my vocal. So whenever my vocal sings, I'm going to just gonna be nipping some frequencies there so that the vocal stands on top of it. But then as soon as the vocal's gone, that, the, that I've got my full sound. So I'm going to put this side chain C6 right on this percussion, which in our example would be a acoustic guitar. And um, I'm not going to need the low end and maybe not even the, the low mid and you can do a solo by clicking this to hear what it's affecting um, if you solo that track you'll be able to hear what it's affecting but right now um, I don't have anything uh, driving this so what I need to do is I need to tell my vocal to uh, to send its signal to it and I don't have a vocal on this 
thing, but we'll just say that right now that this is my vocal. So you would go to your vocal track and you need to send, however your DIW does, you want to send to that C6. Now, since I've dropped it in there, my system knows if I go here in my send, I have a side chain button. You have an equivalent someplace. And there it is. Now, uh, it, this would be your going onto your guitar track. So it's on my cassava track here. So I'm going to click that. So now um, this supposedly my vocal is sending to this supposedly my guitar track, right? And so it's going to be affected. Um, here, let me pull that one out of there just so we don't get confused. Um, it's going to be affected by what's going on on other, other tracks. So it'll nip whenever the other track is doing something. And in the case of uh, our example of a vocal over a acoustic guitar, I would be probably most concerned with, um, you know, these these upper frequencies. Um, and you may or may not want this lower mid frequency. You just have to use your ears and, and figure it out. And in this case, I want my expression and everything to be very, uh, I, I want this to, to be very fast and affected. Uh, fast on the on the draw so I'm going to pull the attack times way down where I'm using it and once you get a setting like this too you know you just I would save a preset for it to make it fast because you might find yourself using a lot now the other thing too see it says set to internal right now you need to grab those and click and it now it's set to external so that it will it will uh, grab externally and that's what, what's nice about that is that if you um do a preset you don't have to remember that step and it's all done but um anyway so you want to be set to external triggering and then you i would start really gently by just pulling uh these down so they're just kissing and so what we would be seeing here is where the vocal would be uh showing up and then just use your ears to hear how effective it is gets a little touchy in these upper frequencies um, because if you've got a, you know, something with a lot of high end on it, you, you don't want to hear this ducking it. Um, I'd recommend in this case just to kind of get rid of everything above like 8K on your guitar just to make sure it doesn't come in and out. You won't notice it. It'll sound good to more speakers. And anyway, um, and so you would just kind of play with this and you want to, your effect you're looking for is that guitar to sound great the vocal to be right on top and um to have all of this expression without really hearing what this effect is doing and it's pretty easy to do you won't have a lot of problems finding the right setting for it uh that's basically it i mean so from here you'd probably go look up some tutorials that show you how you do it with your daw and then just mess with it. And like I said, this is a really sophisticated device and does a lot of things, but this is a really simple way of uh, using it to, to make something like a vocal really stand out without having to do a lot of crazy mixing. And it, it actually does a better job than even if you did a, a, a huge number of uh, uh, adjustments um, to your volume because your, uh, well, trust me. <laughs> Anyway, um, that's it. I hope this is helpful.